Welcome to Charts Today, my name is David Linton and today's edition for Thursday the 22nd of February comes to you from London and the dollar is continuing to rise on this short term chart here. N the trend's still pretty slight, it's not like it's a sharp recovery but we are coming to test the February uh, high that we saw so if we can break through that, that would be the beginnings of a sign of maybe coming off the bottom. It could be a double bottom, we could hit resistance and fall away so uh, that's quite key. Uh, looking at the euro, we see here that we're sinking lower um, uh, in, as we'd expect, a dollar rising, euro dollar falling. Uh, and against the yen, the dollar is still continuing to fall, so we are just still in this bearish trend uh, long term. Against sterling, uh, dollar weakness is showing, has been showing here, but the sterling um, weakness is also showing through now, and we are seeing sterling back below 140. We've got targets to 137. Uh, 136, so about 1 to 2 percent downside potential there. Uh, still bullish in the medium and long term charts, but short term um, we are bearish against the dollar. <coughs> now, against the euro, uh, sterling is fairly flat, it's just holding its bull trend there. So, we're seeing really dollar short term, and this is very short term, we're seeing dollar strength, euro weakness, and sterling somewhere in the middle. Uh, looking at the Swiss franc, we're seeing uh, sterling also holding its position there, and against the Aussie, also holding its position um, as well. And actually, Aussie dollar weakness being a little bit of a factor there. Um, Bitcoin back below uh, $11,000 yesterday, and the most important thing is we are coming back below the cloud on the short term chart. So we are just seeing for the first time in a few weeks. Uh, this trend reversing. We've had a very good run here for the last couple of weeks in the recovery um, from as low as $7,000 all the way back up to $11,700. So quite an improvement, but we're now just coming back below the cloud. Uh, so watch for lower lows. This level of uh, 10200 uh, is pretty important now. If we go below that, then um, that suggests that we've got some um, fall, further falls ahead of us. Keep an eye on the one minute charts if you're trading Bitcoin, of course. Uh, the S&P 500 sitting at uh, 2,700 dead. Um, US markets uh, just struggling a little bit at the, at the close yesterday. We saw the NASDAQ down a third of a percent um, and the Dow Jones actually down as much as two thirds of a percent. So we're just seeing here that the, the recovery is just flattening on the chart. We're seeing that uh, all the way through here, just uh, struggling to keep that V-shaped recovery going. What we have to worry about, of course, is this lower high and then a lower low. That would be bad for the market and, and signaling a new bear trend, really. Um, so we're on a bit of a knife edge. We, the market needs to go higher, um, but at the moment it's pausing for breath. Uh, looking at the futures, uh, the S&P uh, 500 future is um, down about 0.4% uh, at the moment, so it does suggest a lower opening in the US. And looking at the NASDAQ e mini, um, down nearly half a percent and just falling below the cloud as well, so it does suggest the US is going to open lower. Um, we're seeing the FTSE 100 down nearly 1% at one stage this morning, it's now down about 0.6%. And the FTSE 250 is down um, about two thirds of a percent. With these charts, the UK market's still in the doldrums and very much medium term, bearish below the cloud. The uh, Zetradax uh, German market also bearish medium term. The short term chart just really struggling to to get any momentum and looks like it's going to turn bearish again. We've got a downside target here of some 1.6 percent, but it's not yet activated. Uh, looking at the CAC Courant uh, in Paris. We're down about two thirds of a percent, about half a percent now. Um, so we are just seeing uh, quite a difference there as well, but just struggling uh, as we're seeing with most markets to really just keep this recovery going. So your general uh, feeling here is that the recovery is running out of steam. Looking at the Japanese market, worrying that the lagging line is through the cloud, prices below the cloud on the medium term, and it looks like we're falling away and short term we're bearish, downside target of 1.4 percent and a, a really big downside target here of some 20% on the medium term charts, not yet activated. So all these markets are just looking in a, in a worrying uh, phase until we can see uh, the clearly that we are going to go to higher highs. Uh, Hang Seng also now looking a little bit bearish in the short term, medium term holding its, its trend. And the Chinese market has had quite a sharp recovery, but from a really big fall. So we are bearish there as well. The Indian market 
down very slightly. In fact, China was up 2% overnight, but that's not enough really to reverse the trend. Uh, the Indian market really just teetering along the floor, and we have got some quite big downside targets here short term, some 3 5% downside. Not on the medium and long term charts, but that short term chart is a little bit worrying. There has been quite a lot of selling thrust going on there. Um, the Australian market up very slightly overnight. Um, but still not looking amazing on the short term chart. Medium term does look like it is finding support on the cloud. And um, Brent crude is back below the $65 level this morning and just looking like the trend is turning bearish again. So uh, really struggling, um, which is quite surprising because this is normally uh, crude oil's strong time of year. Uh, and we s look at um, WTI, we're, we're down up some not, uh, one percent here as well back below the cloud and it's uh, 61 dollars so it really is looking like we might break that 60 dollar level which would psychologically be important for for crude uh, us nat gas did recover a little bit um, yesterday at uh, two dollars 65 we're back into a bull trend on the short term chart uh, we do still have this downside target of 258 all eyes on storage numbers today so it'll be interesting to see where where the market goes on that uh, taking a look at crude, uh, sorry, at gold. Gold is down and bearish below the cloud in the short term. We've got a downside target of some 4% to 1261. That is counter trend to the medium and long term charts, though. So um, it would be a surprise if we went all the way there. The stronger dollar of the last few days is having a bit of an impact on gold. So we are just struggling to get through this um, 1360 level. But uh, it is still bullish medium and long term. Silver. Also bearish below the cloud, as you might expect, following gold, but um, and looking less good on the medium and long term charts. We do have some downside targets here of some 2% as well. US 10 year yield sitting at 2.93%. So um, we're just nudging higher all the time. We're at 2.95% yesterday. 3% is looking more and more like a formality. We've got a target now of 3.66% on the short term chart and another um, target of f nearly 4% on the, um, on the, on the uh, sorry, 3.05% on the um, long term chart. So it does suggest that we're going that 4% higher above the $3, uh, 3% mark on the uh, t t 10 year yield. So um, inflation rearing its head in the US and we're starting to see that uh, clicking through to quite a few markets. Uh, Apple is sitting quite strongly here. We're, we're seeing here that we're, we're up on the um, uh, bullish on the short term chart, just flattening out again, just reflecting the market really. Amazon <coughs> has been probably the, one of the strongest performers um, up another 1% yesterday and really nudging new all time highs there yesterday. So um, one of the few stocks to be doing that. So showing really true relative strength versus the market. Um, Google is uh, just again up nearly 1% yesterday. So its recovery is continuing. Facebook was up, um, but it has been really, really struggling just to get through this um, uh, $1.80 level. Um, $180 level, sorry, and Microsoft um, is still bullish on the short term, marching up the uh, the hill there. The big thing is all eyes on uh, Wall Street opening today. Can the recovery continue? It'll be a very interesting session to see whether we can hold on to any gains. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.